With new details surfacing about a fierce fatal fire in Scranton, we now know the name of the victim, but there are a lot of questions surrounding this fire. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live in the control center now to explain. Madonna. Mark, the Lackawanna County coroner confirms 44-year-old Christopher Javier died this morning in the fire. What we still don't know is how he died or how the fire started. I spoke to neighbors who say they're shaken up. My heart's breaking. Smoke could be seen for miles, pouring out of the home Friday morning in Scranton's hill section. The smoke billowed into Laura Grosvenor's backyard. And I came out and you couldn't see a darn thing. It was so smoky. The smoke was bad. Fire engulfed the two-story home on the 1000 block of Ash Street around 6.30 a.m. This is where Christopher Javier lived and died. Duahani Brahambat lives in the house next door and overheard the commotion while she was cooking breakfast with her family. It was so horrible. We couldn't express in words that how much scary, you know. Brahambat says witnessing the fire so close to home was one of the most horrific experiences of her life. Firefighters spent hours on the scene putting out the last of the flames. I was watching the fire brigaders working so hard and I appreciate their hard work. I appreciate our Scranton cops that they took a very good decision and they, they were so alert and they were so responsible. While Brahambat didn't know her neighbor too well, she says she's praying for his family. I feel so mercy about that man who died in this situation and I pray to them that, uh, I pray to God that nobody could ever face this kind of situation. I've been in contact with Scranton Fire Chief John Judge throughout the day. He tells me the fire investigation is ongoing and the cause remains undetermined. Mark. Some answers still waiting to be uh, delivered tonight and in the days to come. Madonna Mantione, thanks for your reporting.